Now at six, could it be a sign of what's to come? The biggest school district in the metro is changing gears and sending kids back to class. KCTV 5's Greg Payne is live in Olathe. And Greg, you told us how parents feel about the decision to send elementary students back next month. But what is the health department's take on this? Brad, just like the parents that we spoke with earlier, the Johnson County Health Department is in support of having elementary schools like Havencroft here in Olathe back up and running with in-person learning. Now, the health director says COVID cases in the county have been decreasing, and if everyone, students included, continue to follow guidelines, things should be fine. Also, he says the districts need to report any cases early to stop out outbreaks. The change is only for students who are registered for in-person learning and will not affect those who opted for remote learning. The five day in person learning will start September 28th. Health officials say they've chosen to open schools with younger kids first, partly because these students don't spread the virus as fast. Current uh, science and data tells us that while uh, children under 10 might carry a uh, high viral load, they don't seem to transmit it as much. Health officials say another reason is that younger kids just have a harder time learning virtually. Reporting live here in Olathe, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Greg.